Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? Welcome to the corner. And uh, if you don't know me and Discord and stuff, uh, or follow me online, you do not know this information, but I was streaming the other night and I got hacked pretty bad. Initially, I thought it was because I, um, my cell phone is not working right now, so I was unable to two-step authorize my Beam account, one of the places where I stream, and that's how the hackers actually said they got into me. But these hackers announced who the hell they are, and I'm not going to tell you who they are because they don't deserve the recognition to the the hacks. And since I've been hacked, I've come across um, eight or nine different people who have been hacked, also in the last three or four days from the same people. And going over what we have all done, some of them have had the two-step authorization on. So that didn't matter, somehow. But um, basically, this is kind of a warning right now, and some companies may hate me for saying this, but the correlations between all of us that have been hacked is that we were restreaming using Restream.io, and that they hacked us through Beam. So, all of us were restreaming, and all of us were restreaming to Beam, and the hackers came in through Beam. So, whether or not restreaming IO is the weak point or Beam is the weak point, I am not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure they came in through restreaming and got it, went through the Beam to get to us. So, um, for a while, I am not going to restream. I'm just not going to use Beam until things like seem normal again, if that is an ever. Because uh, being hacked is not fun, and if I can't 100% trust you guys, sorry. So restreaming IO, I've talked to you a bunch, um, and Beam, I've talked to you a bunch. Great customer service on both of them. Really surprised with the restreaming customer service. But I'm sorry, if, um, if I'm worried about being hacked through you guys, I'm not going to use you. So you can, um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch for a little bit until I am confident that I can restream again. So unless they come out with some sort of um, publication saying, hey, we found the problem, nobody can hack you guys through this anymore, it's going to be Twitch. So definitely follow me at KMA's Corner, well, Twitch TV KMA's Corner. So, luckily, um, I do use a lot of the same passwords for my social media stuff. I mean, I have passwords for certain different types of things because I'm old, I'm confused, I can't remember 30 different passwords, and I'm not going to write them all down and throw them on the wall and go, okay, what's my Twitter password? Oh, what's my YouTube password? I just not like that because I had a computer in freaking 1987 where there were 11 and a half inch floppy disks. You know, I didn't have to worry about that. That's the stuff I know. I know the trust people. But I guess they can't trust people no more. But the cool thing about this is I was able to meet some really cool people that were also hacked. And I'm like a low life on the streaming level. But one of the guys that I've become friends with now is that got hacked the same exact way I did, he's Captain Sparkle's moderator. He moderates I Has Cupquake. He moderators Aurelian from Minecraft. So he's not a dumbass. He knows how to protect himself. And he had the two-step authentication going, and he still got hacked the same way I did. So, um... <laughs> With that said, I, I go from hacking to talking about a moderator to the next thing is I am actually looking for moderators. So if you get, you know me and you and I've hung out with you, I've chatted with you, I am looking for moderators right now. My schedule for streaming is like all over the place right now because I do not have an exact time. I leave work each day, but in a month or so I should be within a half hour of exact, an exact schedule. Right now it could be 2 o'clock one day, 4 o'clock another day, so I'm not going to uh, keep the moderator going, okay, this is the time I'm going to start streaming, be there. It's basically, uh, I'm going to take a whole bunch of people I trust that want to... Um, want to moderate me and basically next time you come into my chat I'll moderate you and whenever you're around when I'm streaming you can come in and say hi but you don't really have to it's just 
you know, it would be nice to have a couple of people around to jump in every once in a while to help me out with the streams because with the two streams I did on Twitch this weekend, I had to ban 10 people, not even including the hacking. So there's a lot of shit on Twitch that is fucking stupid. And yes, I'm swearing because it really fucking pisses me off that there's shitty people out there. So, um, I gotta learn how to deal with the shitty people. So I want you guys to, if you know me and you, um, are in support of my future, because I would like to do this for a living and grow a community around me eventually, um, please contact me. You can contact me uh, on Twitter at KMA's Corner or send me a message on YouTube. But I am looking for moderators. And, you know, that even goes out for uh, you all out, Jay. If you have some free time and you, you know, bored, come on, moderate me. Um, the guy who moderates Captain Sparkles said if he's, he would actually moderate me. But I'm like, dude, you, you moderate Captain Sparkles and stuff. Don't, don't bother. Um... Because, uh, whatever, whatever, you know, I, I figured they're too busy. That's why I know people who moderate some big time, uh, people like Pause and Pause and, and Zoom Avoid and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, I can only imagine what hell they put you through. And you may not have the time, but I would accept moderation from them also. Um, just be out there. Basically, this video is really to say... Watch out for restreaming. Watch out for Beam right now. Twitch seems to be safe. Part two is I'm looking for moderators. If you know me and uh, you enjoy my content and you like to hang out with my room and you want to moderate, I would be more than happy to moderate, make you a moderator. Um, and that's basically it. I'm going to start streaming in again on Friday. I don't know what I'm going to stream yet, but it's just going to be on Twitch. I have classes the next two days. i got to shave before then because, oh, my God. Well, you know, when you can see the gray coming in on the beard, it's been too long with my shaving. Yesterday was my shave day, but with all the crap that's been going on, I've kind of, like, given up on that. So... Um, that's my little update. Uh, I stopped playing YouTube for a while because they got into my YouTube account. I'm not, not YouTube. My, uh, well, they did get into my YouTube account, but I got that back pretty quick. But the Minecraft account. So I wasn't able to make videos for a while, but videos are coming back out again because I have control of my Minecraft account again. And there was one other thing I wanted to say before I left. What was that? Hmm. Probably nothing too important, is it? Probably not. I don't know. Hmm. Well, seeing I can't remember it, um, I guess what I will say is uh, the YouTube schedule is coming back. If you want to be a moderator for me, uh, contact me and I'll give you some info. It should be pretty easy. Basically, just an excuse to hang out with me. And uh, be careful of Restream and Beam right now because that's a bad thing. Oh, this is what I was going to say. I have the video of me being hacked, and I was gonna—I was thinking of doing a play-by-play -play over dubbing like uh, a, a spoken word thing over it. Oh, what do they call that? Oh man, brain ain't working. It's like 5:30 in the morning, so forgive me. I was thinking of doing talkovers. Maybe that's close to it. Over the video telling you exactly what was happening because I have the exact moment in time when he hacked into every single thing that was on my, um, you know, that was related to me. And I can play the video of him uh, toying me, with me a little bit in my stream and I can tell you, okay, this is the second that he got into my Google Plus account. This is when he got into my Twitter account. This is when he got into my Beam account. This is when, and it's kind of interesting and also I have a, a basic time period of people who were helping me out in the background because there was a support group around me which really 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 saved my butt on this one and I could say oh this is when it was this guy was reported for hacking into my account and this is the time that uh, this was reported on the guy this is when they were talking to restreaming um, 
And I actually wrote them a message that they literally made me cry. Not so much, I, I, I said that I literally was crying right in a particular message, not because I was hacked, but because of the so support that was shown behind me. That I have some very freaking amazing people behind me right now, and I appreciate that. And it, it, um, it's good to know to have that support, because throughout my whole life, I don't ever really mention this too often, but I haven't had the support even from my family. So to get support from people I hardly know um, is fucking awesome. That's all I can say. It's fucking awesome. So I, I got to hand it out to Jan, Jan.com's Pillow Fort community and the people who help run her show because they, they brought me to tears. <laughs> so thank you guys. And uh, if you guys want to moderate any of you um anyone i know please contact me because i am out outwardly looking for moderators and i don't like to ask people because if you're too busy and i ask you and you want to do it because you're my friend or whatever but you really can't do it i don't want to feel like i'm pressuring you into doing it but yeah moderators please and thank you for everything and if you want me to make that video of the denial the analysis of my hack, I will make it. So give me a comment. Tell me to make the video or not. Um, my information's out there, but it's not information that can hurt me now because I don't care that people know my name. I don't care that people know that I live in South Florida. And I don't care that people know the last four digits of a credit card that has been deleted. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm just thankful that I have a great support team around me. And... Grateful that I was hacked because now I have learned a lesson and I will be a lot more careful. And I'm also grateful to learn that somebody who is as smart and powerful enough to be I has Cupquakes and Captain Sparkles and Minecracker uh, moderator also got hacked by the same people. So I don't feel so stupid now. Sorry if that made you feel stupid, but... <laughs> I've made some good friends with this also. But anyways, I gotta go. I gotta wake up the kid and wife, get them off to school, and get myself off to work. Have a great day. It's Keith from KMA. I'll be back on Friday. Yeah, that's the deal. Friday it is. Goodbye.